Hello, folks. You know, if you're keeping up with the current events, then you know they're throwing that 16 trillion number around a lot that we owe. I guess it seems that we're borrowing about $50,000 every second to pay for all the free stuff the government gives us. Well, you know, that trillion number, it's pretty vague to me and uh, probably as vague as Jamestown is to most young people, too. So I thought I'd try to break it down in a little bit more presentable way and show just how much $16 trillion is and uh, relate it to objects that we're used to seeing. Well, you see, most folks are pretty comfortable with the money like fives, tens, or twenties, etc. You know, hundreds are the largest denomination of money we have in the United States. Most people have seen them and are comfortable with that. Well, you know, my dad was a math teacher all his life, and though he has passed, I asked him several times to help me do the math on this, so I hope I get it right. First of all, we need to get the dimensions of the bill. I use calipers to measure the bill, and as you can see, the dimensions are 2 and 5 eighths inches, by 6 inches by 0 .001 inches. That's one mil. Well, let's first start with a million dollars. A stack of 100 $100 bills is a little less than one half inch thick and that adds up to $10,000. To make a million dollars you would need 100 packs of 100s and this would fit in a duffel bag and if stacked would be about 8 by 6 by 13 inches and it would take up a total volume of about 643 cubic inches. A stack of hundreds would be approximately 40 inches tall at the million dollar count. Well, one million dollars will easily fit in a grocery bag, a five gallon paint bucket, or even a Gucci bag. Well next, I want to see just how many of these million dollar packages are needed to make up one billion dollars. It would take 10 standard pallets stacked about 5 feet high to make 1 billion dollars. Well next we need to see just how much of a space we would need for 1 trillion dollars. Well it looks like it would take 2 pallets high and the size of a football field. That would give you an idea just how much space you're going to need for a trillion dollars in 100 dollar bills. Well therefore you would need 32 pallets, that's 16 stacks of 2, high if stacked on top of one another like on this football field. So the question is this, how does this all compare to those cell phones we love? You know, just how far can 16 trillion cell phones be stretched end to end around the earth? And if they were on top of each other as the laps went, how high would that go? Okay folks, I've been doing some figuring here and uh, I'm going to try and give you an idea. I tried to use my uh, calculator and of course <laughs> It doesn't have enough zeros to do trillions. So uh, we're going to do it longhand. By the way, you may not know, but your computer calculator will actually go into the mega trillions. Here, I just thought I'd see, though, if I could do what Dad taught me to do in math class. So I'm going to try to do it longhand here, and uh, this might be a good math lesson for you guys. I'll try to explain what I'm doing as I go. Okay, here's what we know. First of all, we know the Earth is approximately... 25,000 miles in, circum in uh, circumference. And, uh, okay, and we also know that 5,280 feet equals one mile. Okay, so we need to figure out how many inches is in one mile. So to do that, we take uh, 5,280 feet times 12 inches, that's uh, per foot, and let's see, that's uh, 60, uh, 1, 2, 8, 0, uh, 63, 360, okay, that's how many inches are in a mile, okay, the earth is 25,000 uh, miles, so we would then take 25,000 times 63,360. And that is uh, 5, 2, 0, 16. That's uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 4, 8, 5, 1. 
Okay, let's get that straight here. That number is, look at it now, 1584 inches. Okay, so this is how many inches there are around Earth. Now we want to divide that by six inches. That's the average length of a cell phone, okay? And to do that, well, let's see, let's see. I will take, uh, and divide it by, let's see, what did I say, six inches. So that's, uh, Six, two, two, six, four, would be 20, uh, four, two, okay, so that's it. 264, these are the reserves. 264 million cell phones end to end to go around the earth one time. Okay, well, let's see if we can figure this out. 16 trillion, that is 12 zeros. So 16, one, two, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we're going to divide that by 264 million. Okay, so let's see how we can do this. We can, uh, we can get rid of that. We can get rid of that. 264 into this. That would be, uh, let's see, 6, uh, 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, and uh, 6, 4, times 6, 24. That would be 6606. 60,606 times would go around the earth. 60,000 times. Now, if you were to completely take the earth and set these on top of each other, like this, Cell phone, cell phone, cell phone, cell phone, at a half inch high. Okay, at a half inch high. This would be what? Okay, the way we figure that out is like this. Well, we take uh, 60, 606, that's one time, at one inch, let's say, uh, divided by, that would be then 30,303 at half inch and that divided by um, 12 would be, let's see, that's 2525.5 times 2525 feet high. That's how high that would be. 2525 feet if you piled those cell phones up half inch on each side. And of course, that would go completely around the earth. Now, to give you a comparison, the Empire State Building is only uh, 1,454 feet tall. And this is 2,500, so that's like another uh, almost 1,200,071 feet difference higher the cell phones would be. So isn't that kind of interesting? So there you go, 16 trillion cell phones lined up would be 2,525 feet high and would go around the earth 60,606 times end to end. So there it is for Mr. Herbert's science class. Hope you enjoyed the little refresher course in math. Have a great day and happy flying. Uh, you'll note that all the figures are rounded off or approximate here. Also note that each row around the Earth would get longer each time around. So to get the exact height, we'd take an algebraic geometric equation to figure it out exactly. But in this short math lesson, just note that the height is based on 60,606 layers of half-inch thick bones. And it's all for your mental and visual enhancement. And uh, hopefully it helps you understand the enormous size of 16 trillion. Thanks a lot for watching. Please stay tuned and happy flying.